So welcome friends and this is the part two of our movie recommender system and we will be doing content based recommender system today on the same data set TMBD DB 5000 movies data set okay. So let me just uh, bring into picture what is this content based mean. So content based simply means your description whatever description you have of the data or the movie or any item you take that as content and based on that description the recommendations are made simple as that now for example i i've given this example like suppose jane likes terminator so based on this preference the other movies will be recommended other science fiction like alien and predator so this is how this recommender system works now here it is like what becomes the training data and what has been predicted so the thing is that these item descriptions along with the ratings are becoming our training data and this is specific to a particular user okay and the dependent variable is the specified rating or the buying behavior now one thing to note here is that you train either you make any classification or regression model and this is specific to a user now the things will become more clear just be patient and stay with me in this entire video because it is both practical and theory based so we have much in theory here to cover so like uh, the advantages and disadvantages i think you can go through this from the site i will provide the link uh, but the thing is that uh, i'll just brief you that these recommender system content base is uh, the advantage is that even if you've got few items and with no history or no rating history then also you can get few recommendations okay and um, when you're making recommendations on new items when sufficient rating data is also not available then also you can make recommendations so a you're not having sufficient data you can make recommendation b you don't have much history about any a particular item then also you can still make recommendation but the disadvantage is that the new user for new user you cannot make recommendation because any data is not being collected the new data or new data is not being collected from this new user no history is being recorded by the, for this new user another thing is that um, the recommendations are based on your own choices and preferences so your choices become narrowed down and the community view is being ignored here so collaborative filtering as we see that collaborative based recommender system comes into picture here when you also get the community view so now okay let's get started with our uh, movie recommender system so i left it the previous uh, data set over here our our project and i'm working on the same directory with my same movie recommender python file so i just uh, see when i when i just uh, explored my data set i discovered that this title had uh, was redundant so i dropped this title y which was same as title x so you can also drop it if you have it or if you have previously done it then that's good so your shape should be like the object should be like 481 rows and 23 columns right we have just dropped the redundant title so if i just show you how does our data set look so this is what we have that is the budget genre home page id keywords and we have concatenated the two data sets cast crew and score right okay so now we come to the overview column as if i'll tell you so this content based how will i make this content based recommendation i will use the column overview here this overview is nothing but description of the movies like avatar the movie and its description pirates of caribbean movie and its description based on this description i will find out how the two how the movies are similar to each other and i will make the recommendations okay okay so this is the overview column and i will see this overview column and the top 10 entries of it so this is how i get the top 10 entries of it and you can see that in the 20 22nd century this was blah 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 captain barbosa cryptic message and so on now We've got this description. Okay. Now, based on this description, we are making recommendations and we have to understand the similarity between these descriptions. Now, there are several plots, or I can say several descriptions of these movies. Now, how do we do this? I'll 
Now this is some theory part. Please stay with me with this. Um, before going on to uh, explain you this uh, TF IDF vectorizer, let us first understand this word to vector. What does it do? We will be using TF IDF from SK Learn, but what is this word to vector? This is simply I am converting. Imagine this thing now. I want you to wear your thinking hats. And just imagine this with me that this is a three dimensional space and I've got all the movie description and I want to just plot, just scatter these words all across the space. Okay. And based on the similarity, you will just place these words together. This is what we are doing with this word to vector. I am giving my each word a magnitude and a direction. That is what ve vector stands for. Right? This is having both a magnitude and a direction. So that's what I give. For example, I give this walking and walk. I give it a direction and a and magnitude. And that is how you can just map that they are similar. And this is how the similarity has been mapped. Now suppose you've got thousands and millions of words and they will be scattered here. And you can find it out through some similarity. This is how you can visualize this and really make uh, analysis and data visualization of these text, it becomes really simple, okay? Right, so now what we will be using is TFIDF. Now here come the drill. I'm using two terms here, term frequency and also inverse document frequency. I'm using both these terms here. So first understand the term frequency. Um, see, you can go through this paragraph here. I'm not going through this, this is definition. So this term frequency is, means that the number of times a particular term appear in a document, okay? And uh, so, so I have just explained you with the help of an example that this T is a word, is, is the term which has been appearing in the document. And how do I calculate this frequency? Is by number of times this T terms appear divided by total number of terms in the document, okay? Yeah, this is how you calculate the relative frequency or the frequency. Now you come to this inverse document frequency. This is computed by taking the log of it. Okay. Now, um, to put it simply, I would simply say that this um, inverse frequency is, where has it gone? I'm just searching it. That uh, term frequency, this measures how frequently a term is occurring. Whereas this inverse I would say IDF, document frequency, measures how important a term is in the document, okay? So what happens here is that there are several terms like millions of terms or thousands of terms and there will be certain terms like stop words, add, the, the, etc. which are not so important but they are given importance and significance. So what we do is we reduce their significance by using this IDF, okay? And this will give you a measure of how important a term is in your document. So this is the formula. You can go through the formula, the log of it. And we will be using this formula in our data set here. So let's just uh, go and see what we do this. Now, before that, uh, I will just tell you that we don't have to go into nitty gritties of it because in SK Learn Python uh, library, we already have this uh, TFID vectorizer, which will do things, make things easier for us. Right? It will make a matrix matrix for us and we will see how our uh, words are being plotted in this matrix. So what we do is we define a vectorizer object and we remove these stop words. That is what we are doing. We remove these words, stop words equals to English. And we've got certain, you know, empty or any and values here. So we will replace it with an empty string. Okay, fill in a and we will construct a matrix. And we will fit and transform this overview in this matrix. And when you print the shape of it, you will find that there are 4,803 rows, that means the movies, and some 20,978 words, which make the entire description of these movies. Okay, now we've got these matrix, which has been plotted in this space, uh, just like this. Okay, now what we do is we will find the similarity. Still, the similarity is not being calculated. Okay, guys. So what we do is we will use some linear coronal here since we are using the cosine similarity here. Now, the thing is that which similarity score to use or metrics to use, it depends on you. You can use, you can use 
either Euclidean or Pearson coefficient or anything Pearson's or um, different matrices available but we will use cosine similarity because if it's convenience to use it's fast it's easy and this is independent of magnitude so the formula also let's see the formula and why am I using this linear kernel because it is also fast here that's why I'm using it here and um, so we use it and we again from sklearn we have imported this linear kernel and then we compute this cosine similarity matrix and this is how you write it run this and then we will define a function and also I will tell you what are we doing here by duplicating and mapping it so now what you do is we are defining a function and we will do a reverse mapping of movies titles and the data frame indices why because we want to identify the index of the movies in our me metadata that's why we are doing this thing okay and we will also drop the duplicates because duplicates will be formed when we do the mapping of it so this is how we are linking things and now you define the function now in this function what will happen it will take an input of the movie which we give and it will return 10 similar movies okay based on the cosine similarities and this cosine similarity we have already calculated here we'll take that here make this block and in this block we will define few things now okay so we will define the index here so we get the index of the movie that matches the title we will get the pairwise similarity the scores of all the movies right we will sort these movies on the similarity score and here i have used the function anonymous function lambda here this will take this x but it will return what the first element of x okay and then i will take the score of the 10 most similar movies and get the movie index and then return the 10 top 10 similar movies this is how you will run your entire function then you can just simply like, simply use this function here get recommendations and when i run this the dark night rises i get the top 10 movies based on this movie similarity especially the plot of it especially the overview of it right i'm not using any other feature apart from just overview now i'm getting this dark knight batman forever etc similarly you can make uh, recommendations for different movies jfk and etc like um, you can use avatar the matrix now i'm coming to one point still there is flaw in this recommendation system not flaw actually but it can be further improved now suppose i want uh, i want the movies of the actor or the cast of the matrix keanu keeves reeves okay keanu reeves movies like point break speed john wick in which he was the cast but my recommendation system is not giving me the movies of my actor which i like rather it is also giving me the movies like you know transcendence and i don't know what all right now suppose i don't want to watch the movies of iron man or you know the dark knight rises of christopher nolan i want to see the movies of similar movies of a different actor how would i get those movies so there is a flaw in this recommender system that it is not giving the movies or as per the crew cast or the genre or the keywords the director anything right so i can make it more more and more robust by including different features in it by including my cast and crew so that would be a different different uh, project altogether i mean different uh, coding altogether in this and um, but if you want that i can work upon that okay we can do it together comment in the comment section if you want the third part of it also the second thing is um, second thing is that if you're facing any problem with your projects just let me know and if i can help you any other ideas you want to give me to come up with different recommender system collaborative filtering or different projects in machine learning be it nltk be it deep learning or anything so let me know in the comment section and um, or whether it is time series forecasting i was thinking about stock stock prices prediction so give, the thumb, give me a thumbs up if you want stock prices, prediction, time series analysis with Python. So I'll come up with a project on that. 
so this was it for this video and i hope you would go through the content and this is quite easy guys do not freak out this is really easy once you understand the things and just run it and you'll be done with your first recommender basic system and start recommending movies making the recomm movie recommender system so this was it for this video and um, i would just conclude by saying thanks for watching